Hey, what's happening? This is part four, and I think I'll make one more part, or I'll try to squeeze everything into this uh, video. But um, if you haven't watched the other ones, you can go back and and watch uh, about my experience with anxiety and depression, and uh, how to bounce back from that. Right now, I'm in the bouncing back stages from. Uh, anxiety and depression in ministry. Um, one of the things that happened to me was when my body crashed, I didn't know what was going on. And I was having anxiety attacks and panic attacks, stuff that I never really experienced before. And uh, I thought when it first happened, um, it was right after VBS. VBS just finished. And... Um, I didn't know what was going on, so I just thought I needed to get away. And so we got away for about two weeks, but uh, when my family and I went away, nothing changed. Same symptoms, um, same heaviness was just still there. And I didn't get physically sick. Like, I wasn't throwing up at anything or stuff like that. It was just more of, wow, like, I'm depleted. I'm burnt out. And when I went back, um, you know, back to the church, um, I tried my best to keep going but it was as if God was saying, enough is enough. That's it. And a little side note here. God does not condone overworking. He does not. So overworking is just as much a sin as overeating or, you know, anything else, you know, that doesn't uh, meet his standards. Um, I, so I just thought I needed a break, needed to get away, but um, same symptoms were still there. And so I remember uh, my church leadership, they just kept, you know, they kept wanting updates and I, you know, I would give updates. And uh, I went to multiple doctors um, and one, one doctor I went to, uh, two doctors I went to, I had panic attacks in both in both of their offices. Now, the the first doctor that I went to when I had a panic attack in their office, this person laid me down on their bench or whatever. And they put an aluminum blanket over me. And they performed some acupuncture, which I've never had before, never experienced before. Only watching a nutty professor do it when he went for acupuncture. But I've never personally experienced acupuncture before. So she laid me down, put an aluminum blanket over me, and she's, she had uh, this handheld heater with uh, infrared heat and she said okay when I put this on your stomach and when it gets real hot just say hot and I'll move it to another part of your stomach meanwhile she put like three of these needles like in these pressure points or whatever on me and when she did that um, five minutes later my panic attack went away my panic attack went away five minutes later. And I was like, wow, how did you do that? And uh, she was like one of those special doctors and whatnot. Um, then the other doctor that I went to, uh, when I found out about the blood work and stuff like that, and he said, well, everything is fine. Um, I had a panic attack in his office and he just let me sit there. And he said, well, what we could do is we can put you on the an antidepressant. And 
I kept telling people that it's physical first. Then it goes into the mental. And so finally, my wife was a... Uh, my my wife is uh, lovely. She really was uh, on a search for a doctor, and we finally found a doctor who was uh, more integrative. And the first visit, he took my temperature, and based on him taking my temperature, he said that we're on to something. I, that was a relief because it's been like four or five months of me going like this and not knowing what's going on with my body. And in the meantime, my, you know, like the church leadership asking for updates, I'm giving updates and they're saying, well, you know, and it, it's just, everything is just a mess. It's just, you know, it was just a stressful situation because by the time the doctor found out what was going on and by the time we got to the bottom of what was happening um, and by the time that I was to go back to work first let me bounce back let me bounce back what the doctor found was that all my levels were depleted. All of them. You name it, it was down. And he said, this is why you can't stand up. This is why you, you can't drive. This is why you can't even walk around. This is why you have heart palpitations. This is why you are anxious. This is why you're having panic attacks. Because your levels are depleted. Vitamin D levels depleted. Serotonin levels depleted. Testosterone levels depleted. Thyroid level depleted. Everything in my body shut down. Has that happened to you? And you're trying to explain to your employer Hey, this is what's going on. It's nothing I could... I have to give my body time. And if anybody knows me, yo, I'm not to my own horn, but I was born to work hard. I work hard all my life. So, by the time... By the time the doctor found what was going on and my recovery started, during my recovery... My wife has our second baby. And when she had the second baby, uh, which was November, in January, while I'm still down and recovering, our baby winds up in the hospital. The church... That was November. So that was November of 2017. The church stopped paying me in January of 2018. They allowed us to live in a parsonage, but they stopped paying me. And so my daughter's in the hospital I'm still recovering. I'm trying to do all I can. It's just a rough time. But God did provide. Well, not God provided during those times because guess what? God knows all things. I didn't know where the the church was telling the congregation that they're taking care of our medical expenses, our health insurance, they're bringing us food. Listen. I live right across the street. We live right across the street from the church. And the pastor, I had to ask the pastor. I had to ask the pastor to come over and pray for me and my family. Because what does James says? If anyone among you is sick, let the, let the elders of the church 
anoint them with oil. Nobody did nothing and they're telling the congregation that they have, that they're taking care of us and they're really not. And the most disappointing part was by the time it came to uh, March, I'm still recovering. And finally, I'm cleared to go back to work to start lightly. And you know what my leadership tells me? There is no such thing as light duties here at the church. Not even to ease me back in. There's no such thing as light duties. But when they let me go in March, they let me go. They fired me. God knew. And the next thing you know, they hired someone to just do the youth part, which my passion is just youth ministry. I love people, but my my heartstrings is is youth and and children. They hire somebody just to do that position. Isn't that amazing? I said, "Wow, okay." But God knew. God knew, and the most disappointing part was when the church fired me. The most hurtful thing was they sent me a 12 page document stating that I needed an attorney to review. And I was like, wow, that hurt. So right now, um, that that's that's the story. That that's my that's my experience currently still um recovering from that and i'll give you guys on the next video some tips and some things on how to uh recover on how to recover from you know ministry and what it's like to bounce back all right ministry help at 33 at gmail.com uh holla at me right see ya